How's it going tonight, guys? Welcome again to another episode of Wednesday Wisdom. I'm actually bringing a really fun, exciting one to you guys today. Something that's gonna change your life. It's gonna revolutionize um, really your happiness, your your well be well being, all of it. All of it can be changed just from this tip today, guys. So as you can tell from the title, take time to smell the roses. Okay, guys. I. Honestly and truthfully, I, I don't know what your what your goals are in life. I, I don't know what it is that you're going after, what what your uh, your main aspirations are. But honestly and truthfully, a lot of times we get caught up. We get very caught up in in just putting our head down and going for it, and and really losing track of everything to the side of us. We have the blinders on, which is something I advise people to do when they are you know shooting for a short term goal. But in the grand scheme of things, guys, in, in the long-term uh, vision, something so vital, something so important for you is to learn to take time for the small things. Learn to take time to smell the roses, okay? We, we've all heard that phrase. And really, what does it mean? But it really means just taking time for family, it means taking time for friends. It means taking time, um, just to relax. You know, sometimes you you're going at it, you're working all day, you're putting in the 12-hour days, 14-hour days, 18-hour days. You're go, you're doing the all-nighters. You're working your guts out, and all of a sudden, you know, you get to the point where, where you really just, like, mentally, and spiritually, you're worn out. You're just 120% worn out. And it's rough. It's difficult. It's hard. And I want you guys to, to be able to rejuvenate. I want you to be able to, to have that effort, that desire, the, the burning fire that you'll have. Um, but in order to have that, you've got to take time for yourself. And, and really just take time. Maybe... I, I, and it depends on what you need. I love taking time just to spend with my wife. To me, there is no, like I, I'd rather spend time with her than have alone time. I Alone time to me is almost, I mean, unless like really and truly, I'd rather just spend it with her. I am not, I'm not trying to say like I won't, enjoy alone time but I'd rather spend it with her or you know we've got a dog I love playing with our dog her name's Macy and just playing with her having a fun time maybe going and taking a hike with them going out you know just relaxing and and sitting out by a campfire sorry guys I keep shaking you all that's over but there's so many important things that that you can be doing that are really just gonna help you rejuvenate. It's gonna help you have that burning. It's gonna, that burning desire. It's gonna help you have that fire in you again. And we just gotta, we gotta learn to connect with ourselves. Because ultimately when we get, when we get so headset on a goal, I, I am very, and I'll be the first one to tell you, I am very, you know, I, I always tell my wife, I'm very A to B focused, okay? Some people, they can be like, oh, here's my goal, but along the way, I'm gonna do these different things. I, I'm very, I'm getting to the destination, that's it. There's nothing that gonna, that's gonna stop me from the destination if I wanna get there. And I'll get there as fast as I possibly can. But I also have learned that I need to take time. I, I need to be able to go spend that time with my wife. I need to take that time to just go and sit, collect my thoughts, and, and just relax a little. And when you guys grasp that, when you guys realize that, when you guys are able to start implementing that into your life, you're gonna feel more fulfilled, you're gonna feel more excited whenever you wake up for the day because it won't be a monotonous drudgery day after day, just, oh my gosh, I'm working again, another 16 hour day, another 14 hour day. When is this gonna end? Because you're gonna have those small moments in between. You have those small moments where, where honestly and truthfully, it recharges your batteries and it's only sometimes it's a half hour my wife and I every day doesn't matter if I'm putting in a 16 hour day doesn't matter if I'm putting in a 10 hour day whatever it is we take at least a half hour I, when I'm when I'm eating dinner 
boom, it's all off. There is no business, there's no nothing, and I just, I'm there with her. Maybe we watch a TV show that we wanna watch together. Maybe we talk about the day, maybe we do something. But I'm just, okay, now that A to B focus, no, no now it's A to B focus on, on my wife. A to B focus on me. Because by spending time with her, I'm helping myself out. And you guys, I, I want you to grasp that. I want you guys to really get that because it's something that's really gonna help change you, something that's gonna help revolutionize uh, everything that you're doing in in your lives. This is not just a, like, how do I get rich tip? This is not a, you know, how do I how do I overcome trials tip? This is, this is an everything tip in every, every aspect to your life. If you can learn to take time to smell the roses, learn to be thankful for the small things, learn to take advantage of the small things. When you're doing that, then you're really gonna be able to put your best foot forward. You're really gonna be able to take your performance, take your effort, take your, your mental state, take your spiritual state, take your finances. Everything will go to a whole new level whenever you can learn to really take time to smell the roses. Guys, I want you to really just, I, I want that to be something that you you focus on doing for this next week. Take time, even if it's just a couple of minutes a day, take time, find something small each and every day that you can do that, that you're just focusing on that's that allows you to connect with yourself, it allows you to connect with those around you. And as you do that, you're gonna start to see the change in your life. You're gonna start to see the fire burn brighter. You might think, oh, I don't know how I could get any more passionate. You're gonna get a lot more passionate. You're gonna be a lot more excited, a lot more motivated about your goals because of the reconnectiveness with yourself and with all those around you. I hope that you guys got a lot of value from this. I hope it was something that's really, that you do put into practice. I, I hope that you do, guys. I, I want you to create success. I'd love to be hearing some stories from you uh, about your success and the different ways that, that you've been able to see this t this aspect, this principle of taking time to smell the roses, of taking time to be thankful for the small things and spending time on the small things. When you do that, I, I wanna hear some stories about you and how it was able to help you out. You guys have an amazing Wednesday and I look forward to joining you again next week on another episode of Wednesday Wisdom.